Hey guys, John V from Phone Ring here. I'm live at MWC 2014 Barcelona, Spain. I'm here at the HTC booth checking out their just announced mid range flagship device. This is the HTC Desire 816. So you can see right away it's a very familiar design, similar to the HTC One, but for the mid range market. So instead of having that unibody aluminum chassis, you're going to have a plastic body and it's uniform. You can see the design here, pretty curved around the side, so um, they managed to minimize the bezel, so it makes for a pretty compact handset. Bill quality is good for a plastic phone. You don't have that flimsiness that we tend to see. Uh, it's pretty streamlined, uniform, and the comfort is pretty good, considering it has a pretty large display on board. Um, so let's just take a look around the handset, just like the uh, HTC One. It features dual front firing HTC Boom Sound speakers. So you can have a really nice support when it comes to uh, listening to music or even watching videos. On the left side here, let's just try and focus. You're going to have the, uh, the the volume controls. You have the power button. Good, nice, rigid feel to them, and pretty distinctive. Up top, you have a three and a half millimeter headset jack. It looks like you have one of the uh, of the uh, the mi microphones right there. On the back, you have a 13 megapixel autofocus camera with an LED flash, of course, 1080p video. On the right side here, a little bit hard to make out, but it's actually a, a slit right here. You can remove the uh, casing, and it gives us access to the uh, SIM slot. And finally, in the bottom, you have the micro USB port to charge the device and give it data connectivity. Now, we're not, we're not going to, can't show you the software just because, of course, it's a pre-production unit. It's not finalized, but more than likely, we'll see an updated software down the road, but uh, it's going to have pretty much what we saw with the, you know, the HTC Sense experience. And uh, the other thing, note, no, nothing to note about is the front-facing camera. It's a five-megapixel wide-angle lens there, so you could have a lot of people included, and of course, five-megapixel. That's pretty much what you get on some mid-range, mid-range devices for the rear cameras. Uh, the processor in this is going to be a Qualcomm Snapdragon 400 processor. It's a quad-core clocked in at 1.6 gigahertz, uh, and you can see just the form factor, the size. It's uh, pretty nice considering the large display it has to offer. So as you can see, it has a pretty massive display. Like I said, I can't turn it on, but it's a 5.5 inch 720p display. So you have a large amount of real estate to work with, and of course, it gets into that phablet range. Now, as far as price point and availability is going to be coming coming out shortly. They haven't announced official pricing, but you could expect it to be pretty competitive for something like a Moto X. Uh, and of course, when you include carrier subsidies, you're going to get a pretty good price point with it. So that's a quick look at the HTC Desire 816, guys. If you want to learn more about it, you can check out our website, phonerena.com. This is John V. Thanks for watching.